Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and these are the Super Synthesis 2 OPFM and Fraser. The 2 OPFM is a two operator digital FM voice, and the Fraser is a two channel sequencer. And for those of you who've seen my latest jams, uh, you already understand that. I've been a big fan of these modules ever since I got them from Super Synthesis, whom I have to thank for sponsoring this episode, but also I have to thank for a very special offer we have in store for all of the, well, the audience of this video. So Chris from Super Synthesis has been kind enough, first of course, to join our Modular Clubhouse meeting last week, uh, but he also offered a 20% discount for everything in his online store. And I'll give you the, the actual code for that, the voucher code, at the end of this video. So uh, just stay tuned, right? Um, but as mentioned, I haven't had this much fun with two modules ever since I started with Eurorack. And I was thinking about what the reason was why I love these so much and I can't really put it into words. So I hope that this video will show you exactly why I love these. So uh, for now, I would say, please everyone, hope you're sitting down because um, here we go. So here we have both the Fraser and the two OPFM ready to be reviewed. Um, so let's quickly run through the actual interfaces of these. And what you'll see is that the, well, the Fraser has two outputs, channel A, channel B, uh, which you can then of course set with the dedicated record buttons. It's got a clock in and a clock out. So if you've got two, like I have right now, you can have one of the phrases being your master clock and just patch these two together. And you also have your steps button. Uh, which will make sure that you can either reset the step or you can make a step longer by just holding or holding it down when while you have the record button down. Other than that, yeah, the uh, the the actual uh, workflow is you just hold down the record button and you just set the CV value that you want per step. And you can do that at a low rate first and then speed it up or you can do it real time, whatever you want to do but it's actually pretty straightforward. And it is something, as I mentioned, that is so fun to do while performing. It's something I've never experienced before and it's something I will never let go. And then you've got the two OPFM. Uh, again, you've got your output, um, you've got your, well, uh, your envelope CV in, and here you've got your envelope slider. And this is of course an offset for the value that you that you put in there. Um, you've got your trigger in, you've got your uh, frequency modulation in, and you've got your FM offset there as well. And you've got your FM ratio. Keep in mind that this thing has two oscillators uh, built in. So you don't have to pass in an external FM. You can just use the built-in uh, the, the built frequency modulation oscillator so then you've got your um, input for your uh, full productive and the kilohertz offset there and essentially that's it so how about we just let you hear what this sounds like pretty pretty clean so let me just turn this on and let's just connect it straight to the output of the OPFM there we go just going to connect the output from the second phrase straight into the trigger input there you go
it's already nice and plucky, right? Nice and clean, nothing there. So how about we then start to use, well, channel B for the actual input. There you go. So as I said, it's a matter of holding down the record key and just turning the encoder there. how you start building your your flows of course but how about we also grab channel A from the second phrase and put that into the frequency modulation offset channel B of the first phrase I'm just gonna put that into the envelope there you go. So what we now need is we need to add a beat to this. So instead of just passing these to each other immediately, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the claw count and put that into the VCO's little helper by CA Modular. And I'm gonna grab the pass through and put that straight into the A1, there you go. And I'm gonna use this as a clock divider. So I'm gonna grab this into the proc Let's grab this one. I'm just gonna disconnect this for now. Here we go. And I'm just gonna create a quick patch here. Combining all three of these And I'm also gonna use the Bafaco Rebel Witch 
as a delay, sorry, a reverb actually. And we've got our bass drum. And how about we then take channel A and use that to play with the bass drum settings. So what I now want to do is I want to pass the 2 OPFM through the MT2D by uh, Sonocrine, which is of course a nice, rich, well, distortion unit. And this is just something I can keep on playing with. And then you ask me why I, I'm, I'm just having so much fun with these these modules. It's just a party in a box, if you ask me.
and I can keep on going with this for hours and hours on end. So, as mentioned, I'm going to start a Patreon, and one of the first things I'm going to make Patreon exclusive is just me playing with these three modules for at least an hour, because I <laughs> I can easily do that because it's such fun to do this. This is just great. So, just to prevent myself from just spending more time with these modules, I'm just going to go back to the studio and wrap this up. But, geez, I want to keep playing. So, I hope you liked this video on both the 2OP FM and the Fraser from Super Synthesis. As mentioned, we've got a great offer for the complete audience of this video. If you want to get any of the Super Synthesis modules from the Super Synthesis website, just go to supersynthesis.com and use the voucher code Jesper20. It's going to be there in the screen somewhere. But Jesper20, 20% 20 off of your whole, well, order. So uh, go ahead and uh, use that, but make sure to pick up a Fraser or two and the 2 PFM and I truly hope you saw how much fun I was having with these two modules. As I said, it's a party in a box. I truly love them. And again, many thanks for, to Chris from Super Synthesis for making this possible. Chris, thanks a mil. Um, for now, I would say, I hope you enjoyed this video. As mentioned, I will be setting up a Patreon uh, as well. So you will be able to get early, well, early access to my videos and you will get more and more jams that you can uh, watch as well and um, other than that I would now say please everyone stay safe stay healthy and I hope to see you for my next video cheers